Welcome to Fantastic Fiber Friday. And yes, I am sporting a huge mustache. <laughs> it was a little fun gag gift sent to me by um, Michelle Miller, also known as a Focal Knitter. And I joined her group for the Ravel Lennox games. I guess that's what they, the Ravel we changed it to. And I, although I'm not actually competing, I just figured I would sit and spin up as much stuff as I could during the games. And I'm going to take this off now. <laughs> there we go. Um, I have been spinning up last week's Fiber of the Week, North Ronald say, and it came out quite beautiful. This is this was one of those um, three and a half ounce bumps, and this is the one that I did the little dyeing experiment with. When I showed it to you last week, you could see all the dark brown it started out to, and this is how the middle came out. And it's, it's fuzzy because of the hemp in it, but I, I kind of like it. I think it turned out really, really nice. And I'm going to go ahead and spin up the blue and maybe see if I have enough to do a color affection shawl or something. I think these colors would look great. The fiber of the week this week was Coradale. And Coradale is kind of like the staple almost of a spinner's diet. Um, I love Cordell. It's got more strength than Merino, but it's still pretty soft. And most people can wear it next to their skin. So here is my Cordell, and I have combed it after I, I dyed the white, of course. And Michelle, I did this for you too. It's, um, in that wild rose color you loved so much. So there is some wild rose colored Cordell. And of course I combed up some of the brown too. And I think I only had a couple ounces of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spin them up and maybe make a headband or something. I thought that would be interesting. And here is some of the fiber spun up. There's the wild rose color spun up. And I also have some of the brown spun up. Oop, get that off there. And I think that these two together, let's see if I can just kind of put them together, would look really good, applied, and maybe a headband. That'd be pretty neat. But if you want to learn more about the Coradale sheep and their wool, you can check out Monday and Wednesday's post. I've got all that information in there about them. And like I said, they're kind of they're kind of like a staple for a spinner. Very nice fiber to work with. Um, what I'm on to next is a little bit off subject, but I love these and they're pretty. And I have knitted and crocheted with them before. What I have here is some dyed sari silk from Darn Good Yarn. And I use this stuff to wrap my packages when I mail them out. It's, it's a great ribbon for that. It's ribbon yarn. Um, they'll take a piece of it and sew another piece to it and sew another piece to it and so on. And if you want something that's unique, that looks completely unique and is uniquely textured, it, this is fun to knit and crochet with. And like I said, I also use it to wrap packages. But aren't these just gorgeous? So if you're interested in picking up some of this, head on over to DarnGoodYarn.com. And Nicole will be more than happy to help you out with that. Now let's spend a moment with the animals. Well, here we are out in the barn, and my daughter likes to leave the radio on for the rabbits. So I figured we'd come out to the bunny barn today and see how everybody was doing. And there's Bella. Hello, Bella. Oh, you're so beautiful. And Coco. Coco got a spot on her face, too. Well, she's a chocolate bunny, hence the name. Hello, Ray. How are you doing, buddy? okay I'm just filming you <laughs> and blue my blue bunny who seems whose fiber seems to be a favorite with people and then we have little girl who have had forever and ever and ever and absolutely adore her tortness 
And then my three boys over here. Hi, Caesar. How you doing, honey? How you doing? And this is Quinnia. Yes, come on, look at me, baby. He's got a beautiful pointed coloring. And then Teddy. And he is a teddy bear, just like his name. Hello. And he's in a gouty. But I figured I would take some time and introduce you to our lovely bunnies we have on site here. And whose fiber goes into a little bit of everything. Have a great day. Bye. And I guess that's all we have for today. So... I am going to go ahead and close up shop here, and you have a great weekend. I will see you next week.